Maybe we'll just do this and use someone else to take. That's <laughs> such a. That's such a weird. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's a weird. That's a weird one. And welcome your faces back to. I almost said Andron Zaga. Welcome back to Roston. First of all, welcome back to Vision Quest. Uh, it's been a few days since our last uh, last recording. Kind of regret being a little annoyed last time. Really, my frustration was my voice, and it was getting very uncomfortable to keep uh, recording. And I probably, like I said, shouldn't have <laughs> uh, recorded that last one. Don't want to. Don't want to like leave any thing about uh, any 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 taint on the story, the writing, or whatever. Uh, it was a lot compared to the what was usual or what what's normal. I think. So there's that, but you know, story ramps up. That sort of thing happens. It's common. It's normal. Um, so yeah, I, I don't want it to be a, a negative spot in our run or whatever. <clears throat> Just uh, something frustrating about my voice is I, I see I can't seem to like record these high energy or different voices uh, for more than a couple hours, and I feel like it should be easier for me to do that. So it gets frustrating when all of a sudden I feel like I can't talk and it's a uh, straining more so and is almost painful in a way. So anyways, that's enough about that. We've addressed it a couple times here, but uh, we're on to chapter nine. And uh, yeah, part one, chapter nine, Thunder's Call. <sighs> so yeah, I think uh, I was a little bit frustrated and I don't exactly remember what was happening. So excited to get <clears throat> back into it, I suppose. Uh, another comment I want to make, I guess, really quick is I, I, I really like the uh, vanilla Fire Emblem, vanilla GBA uh, chapter storytelling type thing. I don't really know how to describe it other than that. It's like this in this scenario right here, you'd have that map sequence where your Lord would be like walking to the next place or whatever. And it would have like a, a nice theme to go with the text. Not that this theme is bad, um, but these ROM hacks make me they do make me miss that. And I, I think it's oddly nostalgic for me, that little map run thing while the chapter is being introduced. It might be because, uh, you know, I just have nostalgia for the, my early playthroughs of Fire Emblem, like my first Let's Plays. Uh, I don't know. There's something like weirdly, like, I, I guess, cinematic about it that I like, like voicing over that part. <laughs> it's weird. Hard to explain. Just a little weird thing I wanted to share, but... By no means does that mean this is bad or anything. Just, I wanted to talk about it. Fort Osbar. Osbar, named after the third Lord of State Bellaro, was constructed to provide defense at, at the edge of Bellaro's shared border with its neighbors, Horshat to the west and Ofenloch to the north. In centuries past, internal strife between states was common. Wars for resource, resources, for land, and for the egos of hot-blooded nobles, all fought. Fort Osbar was a living relic harkening back to these times before the most recent imperial line claimed the throne and united Navan. Today, Fort Osbar is still an important piece of Bellara's border guard, but is often used as a last stop before a long journey to the west. Emperor Feston, Bellara welcomes you. I trust your ac accommodations have been satisfactory, your highness. Well, let Lord Groudon. Indeed they are. But these are not times for pleasantries and tea time talk. Let me get straight to the point. I've heard much about the disturbances in Bellaro, Lord Vespasian's death, a ragtag band of farmers rebelling, seeking to end your rule, your nephew Lord Titus joining their cause. It seems you have much on your plate, Lord Groudon. The situation is under control. Indeed. I trust the soldiers I've sent to join your forces will help you keep it under control then. Indeed, your highness. It will be most useful quelling this minor disturbance. See to it. The prisoners you've stowed away nearby will return to Balti with me. I was expecting more from you, Lord Groudon. You know that these criminals must be punished. Yes, indeed, your majesty. I will be sure to make up for it by your next visit. Words are empty. Might I remind you, Lord Groudon, that I do not care who sits on the throne of Bellaro. So long as, as, so long as the Lord of the State is able to provide for the Empire, I will remember that, Your Highness. That would be for the best. I'm returning to Balti. I expect more prisoners on my next visit. When you capture the rebels, send them to me. They will receive their judgment there with the others. Do not fail me, Lord Groudon. Remember the outcome if you do. Indeed, Your Majesty. 
I shall not fail. But the might of General Bromhilda, coupled with Bellaro's finest, you have nothing to fear. Hm. Farewell. The Emperor. Something is a foul here. Why does he need the prisoners? The high taxes are the easiest way to get prisoners, but it also threatens my authority. What seemed foolproof has proven to be most costly. However, I am promised a hefty sum for the prisoners, but will it be worth it? Of course it is. I shouldn't be questioning that. No. No, definitely not. But I cannot fail. I am the finest ruler Bellaro has ever seen. I will bring Emperor Festin, the criminals he seeks. That didn't look like it went well. I've never seen him like this. There's more going on here. Is something amiss, General Leslie? It is not my station to think, General Brumhilda. But I do make my observations time again. Time and again. Excuse me for pe speaking so openly. Peace, General Leslie. While I am Imperial General from the capital, I am fighting under your banner. I am Lord Grom's to command. You're quite kind, General. Whatever is going on is not my concern. The dogs are barking. We are soldiers, loyal to the end. Indeed. General Leslie, please excuse me. I will see to my, my see to my troops. Do not hesitate to call me if I am needed. Yes, my men will see to it that rations are sent and their accommodations are made. Please take your rest. We will discuss our plans on the morrow in the war council. Council. Until then, General. Uh, what? <laughs> Some of these guys are just really goofy. <laughs> This is like a Wendy type knight, but like, dude, but like dude, not not the girl, the Wendy type knight, the pink hair, the guy, the scar on his nose, Hollis. That's such a like, I don't know, Zoya Hollis, sister, a, a gen General Leslie. What is it? Lord Titus has betrayed us. He has joined the enemy and fights alongside the brigand Storch. What, Lord Titus? But why? I am unsure. In fact, I've never been so unsure. Between you and I... The situation concerns me greatly. Not only for Bellara, but for all of Navan. But for now, we wait. Tomorrow, I will meet with General Bromhilda from the capital to devise a strategy to take them down. With Lord, T with Lord Titus, they are a serious threat to Lord Gradin. Get some rest. I don't want you two out of commission for this. We will need every able-bodied soldier. I will, General. Hollis, please see to it that our men are prepared. At once, Captain Zoya. Sister, this is unlike you. What has happened? It's unlike it's it's unlike you for to doubt your. It's unlike you for you to doubt yourself or your, or our liege lord. That's a weird sentence. <laughs> Read me well, dear sister. Lord Grodden's actions of late are troubling. However, I, I remember the debt that I owed to Lord Grodden. You may have been too young to remember. Yes, you've told me before. Our parents abandoned us, and we were taken in by Groton and raised in the castle. While he did not dote on us as a father may have, he represented us with a life otherwise unattainable. He saw a great potential in us then, and trained us into soldiers. I understand that we both are forever in debt. You're correct, my dear sister. I apologize for ever wavering. Please get some rest. Tomorrow we, we will prepare to end this once and for all. Yes, we will end this. Sister, just one more thing. Hmm? What is it, sister? You may speak openly with me. Leslie, I... Never mind. Forgive me. I will see you on the morrow. Hmm. Good night, Captain Zoya. Or Titus. Why must you drive this wedge? <sighs> really quick, I feel like I want to address some more... I, I don't want to harp on, on the game too much, but... Like I said a couple a couple of videos ago, it's like... I kind of want to comment on the writing and the storytelling where... I see fit um, as much as I want to stay neutral and stuff and just kind of experience the experience I, I want to point out like uh, some of the writing just feels a little unnatural and a little tropey to me and I'm not a writer by any means this is just kind of how I feel I guess <laughs> but like the old uh, the dog is barking one second what a little silly guy <clears throat> anyway like the old uh, person was outside listening in uh then they're gonna talk to themselves i i understand you gotta tell the story somehow right and and then like the uh the 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 king not the king the uh what do you call him uh Grodin, lord Grodin. uh the emperor leaves and he's like ah this is all weird do i want to do this do i not is this good for me yeah it's good no 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 it really is good i feel like if he's gonna be talking to someone maybe maybe leslie 
joins the conversation when the guy leaves and he's like is this good enough for me or or maybe the uh brom hilda comes in because he, she seems more up to speed with what they're doing and uh more apt to agree with him and more stationed to be talking about this than leslie leslie's just like the general night general or whatever but like i don't know i feel like having that conversation with another person makes a lot more sense to just be like ah something's weird here uh i don't know what's going on is this worth it like uh they're questioning my authority with this new rule but it's good for me right yeah no it really is yeah no totally and then again it happens with Les leslie and she's like i don't know this is, is kind of weird and then the other girl's like wait what are you talking about and i don't know i just kind of feel like you've seen it a lot and it doesn't really make sense it's not very natural not to say like uh vanilla fire emblem is totally written amazingly either like i think there's a lot of it in that maybe that's where this comes from or maybe it just is all over the place in media you know maybe everywhere everybody does it i don't know but uh and i also understand technical limitations where it's like you're you're seeing those two talk in the castle and then you can actually maybe see on the map like leslie's outside in earshots those little things might go a little a long way if i were ever making a hack these are the sort of things i would think of but I really don't think I'm gonna do that. Long story short, uh, let's <laughs> let's get on with it. I'm just being a critique for no reason. Maybe I don't know. I, I went to art school for a while, and we, this is like a thing, you know, critiquing the work, trying to stay positive. Well, I think there's a lot of a lot of good so far. Um, but uh, <clears throat> let's move on. This is the least guarded entrance to the Fort or <laughs> to the Fort Oz to the Fort Osbar. Not many would know about this. I'm amazed we were able to get out. I'm amazed we were able. <laughs> I'm amazed we were able to get here without much trouble. The perks of moving with a small forest torch. It's easy to go unnoticed, hidden from even the sharpest of eyes and the keenest of noses. Noses. Their guard is exceptionally light, as many are. As many are out collecting prisoners. They do not expect anyone to oppose them, especially not here. I spent some time here after I, I graduated from the academy. Commander Garrison is a stout heart, but he's old, and has, and as such, he's as stubborn as a mule. He's a prideful dastard, and his loyalties lie more with the damn building than Lord Grodden himself. Sounds like he ain't the type but to get up and switch sides. We best prepare well so we don't get beat. Is there anything else we should know about this fort? There are two entr entrances, entrances that both lead to the same point. It's best we split up so we don't get pincered by the soldiers rushing around from the other side. There may also be weapons and gold here, unused in prep for war with our neighbors. We should be able to make good use of that if we come across the storerooms. I see. All right, on your ready. Let's get this over with. Yes, to arms! Thunder, heed my call! Answer me, and smite those who dare oppose us, and betray the people of Bellaro. Okay. <laughs> All right. Again, I like how the conflict... Uh, is short and sweet we're not really coming into uh you know <clears throat> not really uh, 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 uh introducing the enemy into the conversation we're just like saying let's get into it you know i like that triangle adept doubles doubles a we doubles weapon triangle effects that's interesting uh neutral cover natural cover sorry Minus three damage taken when on terrain with effects. So it's going to be basically minus five for standing on the throne, seems like. And uh, controls the weapon triangle, so that's a little bit scary. What's this con? Con is 15, doesn't lose any speed. And these are all pretty inaccurate weapons. So 87 is the most accurate he's going to be without weapon triangle. Which, maybe that's built on purpose, you know, give him stronger but inaccurate weapons and then have the weapon triangle corrected a little bit. And if it's this FE8, the weapon triangle might be like 15, plus minus 15 or something, so does that mean it's 30 now? If he's uh, got the advantage? Or is it uh, plus 30 either way? It doesn't say if he's if he does have the advantage. And these guys, L fire, L fire. What are these tiles right here? So many questions we have right off the bat. Here we go, here we go. This is a pretty cool looking map with the freaking another good ass FE7 track. 
Uh, is this companions? I'm probably gonna butcher it every time I say, what is this word called? What is this called? Is this companions? Is this, uh, uh, uh. All right, well, we got armor knights holding us in right away. There's no conversation with the boss or the enemy at all, which is interesting, I find. Uh, but I think we're gonna start ahead by, uh, oh. Do we have a steel lance? We totally do, right? Oh, we have an angelic rope. Oh, we've got red j Oh my god, we got lots of stuff to do and sell and whatnot. Uh, I thought we had a steel lance, but oh well, I guess. Never mind, it was this lance that we got from her father instead of a steel lance. Okay, stop singing. So let's look at Titus really quick. He's a mage armor, which I thought I'd seen it all. <laughs> Clearly, I was wrong. But not what I thought he was going to be at all. <clears throat> Ambitious noble of Bellaro, a bold tactician and statesman. He's got the dire thunder, which is OP, as we know. It's a brave weapon. And uh, he's also got bolting. We gave him Lara's tomes as well because we we're benching Lara for sure. And he also has wrath, which is interesting. So <clears throat> something like a oh, thunder doesn't have crit in this game. I guess dire thunder will have to do with five crit. <laughs> I can help him if he ever gets into wrath range. And then we also have Helga, Titus's bodyguard, quick to anger, but loyal. Um, <clears throat> you guys might get mad at me for this, but what is Claude's retainer's name in Three Houses? Is it also Helga? And is she also not a wyvern, an axe wyvern? And this game was developed before that, right? Actually, not probably not developed before, but it was like started before Three Houses came out. Anyways, <clears throat> she's a axe wyvern. She looks pretty damn good, of course, as most wyverns do. Also, we should look at Titus's growths. Pretty good magic, acceptable speed. Uh, his skill is his highest, and uh, everything else. His arm, his like defense is a little bit lower than I would expect from some armor class, but. You gotta remember the growths are definitely toned down in this game. Uh, they're more like a vanilla at Fire Emblem. So, uh, with that being said, Helga's growths look pretty amazing too. Uh, very high strength and good skill. Pretty average all around the board otherwise. <clears throat> Other than HP and res, I guess. Big HP, she'll be bulky. HP growth seem to be pretty high in this game. So that's nice. Uh... Uh, so yeah, let's uh, let's let's get to moving. I think. Okay, Storch really needs forty-five percent speed growth. We need to get some. Uh, we need to get some some of that fired up. Okay, so I think we will hammer right off the bat here. Just do a little nice one tap. And we're gonna get a bunch of keys in this. I think we'll send the door key or the steel axe. Nobody likes a steel axe, so we're gonna get rid of it. <clears throat> and we're also gonna armor slayer here with Esphere. Probably could use a uh, better, use her better, <laughs> but we're gonna we're gonna go for it. Esphere needs some uh, needs some love, needs some levels. Um, I'm going to just assume she falls off pretty hard if you don't uh, keep up on her. So she's also um, a thief. So, you know, she's already going to be a little lackluster in some areas. But I mean, other than defensive defensive growth, it's not bad at all. 30 strength is OK. I think that's like, is that Joshua ish? You know, Myrmidon type growths guy. That's guy. That's guy for sure. Uh, which, you know, isn't great, but it's acceptable, right? Natsuko, how are you finding yourself? I doubt when you joined up with, with us, you expected to be so involved. Tell me, is it okay for you to be away from a hollow salt for so long? Hey, Asphere, thanks for checking in on me, but I'm fine, really. Combat is something I don't have much experience in, and fighting with you guys has given me the opportunity. As for being away for so long, the intel I'll be able to bring back with... <clears throat> The, the intel I'll be able to bring back will more than make up for being away. That's good. I'm surprised the Mahalan military is so lenient. From my time living in the capital here in Navan, it seemed to be much stricter. 
Our training is tough, but once you get through it, the military life is pretty easy. There's a lot of posturing, but our relative isolationism makes it so we don't really have to do much. I'd say this will probably be the toughest fighting I'll do in my career, and frankly, I'm okay with that. Let's hope that's the case for us all, Natsuko. Let's go. All right, I think we'll use the light brand here. Okie dokie. We do melee. Part of me wants to early promote Vig Vigilis, but I think I'm gonna stick it out a little bit longer. And I'm not really sure what is to come with the parts. So, do I share a convoy? If I don't use the Earth Seal, is it gonna vanish? And I should probably use it now rather than wait. I'm not sure. If anyone has some uh, advice, feel free to leave it in the comments. Hopefully, I don't blaze through. Uh, the necessary parts um, in the meantime because I tend to do one or two videos at a time so I'll probably not play the next one if it looks like we're ending the part so we'll just see what happens I suppose um, who are we gonna use here I think I think we're gonna let's see. <laughs> Kinda wanna talk and not waste some turns. Maybe maybe we'll just move up this way with Vigalus. And we don't have an iron bow, that's right. Um that's fine. Use a steel bow over the uh, hand bow. Because I don't like steel weapons very much. They're kind of bad usually. Uh, so, dragon axe, that's scary. Good thing I noticed that. Okay, just make a move, man. Make a freaking move. Maybe we'll just do this and use someone else to take. That's such a, that's such a weird, <laughs> uh, that's a weird, that's a weird one, but you know, it is what it is. Hey, uh, Lord Titus, hmm, what is it, my good man? Please be on your guard. This fort is well defended. The man who oversees it has done so for a long time and not for lack of action. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I'm getting used to this whole big army assault thing. Usually everything is kind of on the fly. I guess I'm not used to working with a tactician like yourself. You're a capable lad, Storch. I'm confident you'll learn. With my guidance and your iron will, we are unshakable. <clears throat> in this, I am certain. Thanks, Lord Titus. I'm trusting you. I don't know. This seems a little weird, doesn't it? I should make a note of uh, saying this earlier in the episode, but uh, we are going in blind in this game, so thank you for not... Uh, commenting spoilers and whatnot really is appreciated okay so sword weaver but maybe I thought I had a better answer for this guy but this will be fine right here the iron bow or the, the wizard bow and then I can talk, and... Yep, that'll do it. Hmm, you there! Imperial! Huh? What do you want? What are you doing? Your wyvern looks filthy. Has he bathed recently? Whoa, now, that's quite the bold claim to make, isn't it? Papillion here is not filthy. He prefers natural. The natural thing to do would be to take care of your damn beast. The enemy can surely smell him from miles away. He needs to bathe. Are you asking because you'd like to join us? If that's the case... Do what you want. Should I be worried that the only thing more repulsive than our smell is the thought of spending time with us? Don't worry, Papillion. I know you're eyeing her wyvern, you sly dog. I'll do what I can to be your wingman. <laughs> All right. The can he sing every freaking battle music theme he can quest continues. 
Alright, I think we're gonna go steal sword here. And maybe, uh, what's his name can pick up the KO. We'll not hold our breaths because, uh, honestly, I don't know that Ruslan is very good. But we will see. Time will tell. I do want to try to use him because he's our only other lance wielder other than uh, you know who. Um, and the only reason I say you know who is because I don't remember her name. <laughs> um, Larissa, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Totally. Had that. There it is. What? Lord Titus is attacking us? So the rumors were true then. The traitor's pup thinks he can take this force without a paltry for- Sorry, I read it wrong again. A fool's errand. I am Garrison. I've defended this fort for 18 years and it has never fallen to the enemy in any of our bouts. Two arms men, we must defend this fort. Lord Gradin has offered us wyverns from the Imperial Army. They will arri arrive shortly. We will pincer the enemy. Do not let the enemy push through. We will not fall today. Oh, hand axe, huh? Nice job. Was not expecting that. Interesting play. Yikes, the dragon axe is strong. I cannot, I cannot wait to promote him. I don't know, but it's like uh, the thought of having a decent warrior because every FE game, every vanilla GBA game has like shit tier warriors, right? I mean, the best one's probably Garcia. Who's this? Ah, another female thief or recruitable thief, I imagine. Woo, glad I made it in. The guard was tight. Now then, time to grab a few things I can pawn off. Get home and buy something to eat for the family. This force is going to have some gems or ex something expensive. Better be quick. Don't want to get caught. All right. Storch is right here. Do you think uh, Esphere can talk to her? No, it doesn't look like it. O Odaly? O Odaly? Interesting. <gasps> what is this? Wow. Thieves rogues only. Plus five luck. Okay. Main gosh, how do you how do you even say that? Okay, so same stats, acrobat, all traversable terrain costs one movement. Okay. Um, and the same skills, pretty similar stats, but I mean it would be nice to have a second thief for some reason. I think Esther is probably a little bit better, but since she's a lower level, she might actually turn out a little better. Anyways, let's continue. Uh, I think this is probably safe. Stop singing. And a three level strength, no strength. <clears throat> it's like you always are trying to get some strength on your freaking ooh, a longbow. Would have been good to check. Oh, and his res is really bad. So that's going to be 10 and 15. Ouch. Should be okay. -da -da. We're not doubling these guys. Frickin' Titus and his frickin' armor. What the, what the? Very strange, this game. But I dig it. Okay, let's see. Arcady's gotta clean up here, I think. Okay, don't want that. Don't really wanna do this. Well, that's not the worst. Kind of a waste of a light brand, though, I think. Bum, bum, bum. Do some chip here. And uh, avoid this attack. That'd be great. Thank you. But, um, ba -ba -da -ba -da. Natsuko level. Speed would be amazing. Thank you. That's a really nice level, actually. Da -da 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 -da. All right. There's that. 
And we'll get the door. Why not charge right in there, yeah? Alright. Like so. Da -da 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 -da. It's good doubling action for Vigilus. Another level almost. Uh, let's see. This. The steel, uh, steel, steel axe would be nice right about now, huh? Eat my words now. Level 13! Oh, nice. Defense is, is good. I'll take that. Up, 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 up. Okay. Let's see. Damn. Kind of bad. Kind of bad. Helga can probably do it, but... Yeah, we'll have Helga do it, I suppose. It's a good fat miss. See, there. another thing with this game is there's a lot of damage so far. I feel like a lot of the enemies pack quite a punch. So uh, you feel like you're kind of bulky with like these 30s, the HP in the 30s and stuff. In the early game, you're still kind of basically one, like two shot or maybe three shot. Um, probably usually three shot, but it's still kind of like, yeah, that's uh, it's kind of big damage. Axe Reaver will do it. Uh, 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 uh. Don't want to be thiefed from, but I also don't want to get shot uh, from somebody, by somebody. Safe spots there. And I guess, like so, get some experience for something. Yikes, that's big. Uh, uh, uh. Oh no! Should have known there's a longbow there. And he doesn't dodge either. That sucks. Oh well. It's like a nice mend to heal us up. Alright, let's talk to this lady, shall we? Heck, I've been spotted. Gotta make a clean break. Hey, you, wait just one second. You're not with this army. Uh, I'm not gonna hurt you. Huh? Then who are you? My name's Storch. I'm fighting with Lord Titus. We're trying to defeat Lord Grodden so we can lower the taxes. I bet you're here to steal, right? N no, just enjoying the sights? You don't gotta lie to me. I was, <clears throat> I was just like you not too long ago. Why don't you come with us? I need money so I can feed my family. My papa's sick and I can't work no and can't work no more. It's just the two of us. We'll find a way to feed your papa. But you gotta trust us, alright? Uh, alright. Thank you, Storch. I'm Audily. Ah, uh, it's a pleasure. Be safe, you hear? Alright, just like that, I guess. And... Audily? Odily? Not sure, but... Oh! Okay, her growths are kinda nice. Higher strength and higher speed and luck, I think, than, uh... S-Sphere. Better defenses too, and a lower level, but I feel like, you know, s has got plot armor, man. Can't just like go and replace her like that. She probably has like a, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We will see, I suppose. Okay, so... What's his skill again? I don't remember. Quick burn, that's right. Okay, we gotta take out these mages. Gotta get rid of them. Who's got the pure water? That was you. Bow, 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 bow. I think we'll go ahead and pure water here. Oh, hey, uh, didn't see you there. How much is he gonna do? 18. 18, we'll do nine damage. Nine damage. 13, so five and one. He's gonna be okay. Da, 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 da. Oh, 
Oh, we do have the hand axe. Nice, nice. All right. One of these has got to hit. Just one. All right. So then what's her name can go in for the KO, I think. Natsuko. Yes. Just like that. The power of doubling is very, 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 uh, whatever. <laughs> We're gonna use a chest key here. Earth seal again. All right. Um, how does Titus do here? Not very good. Who's got the best res? Definitely not this guy, but who else is going to be able to take them out? All right, here's the move. Pure water. We grab a sword. This is a little more powerful. Uh, so might as well. And then we're going to go here, trade the pure water. And we're going to give him the... Th th uh, we're going to give him... We're going to give him the thunder. And then we're going to pure water. This guy's going to attack us. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. That, that's it. That's all she wrote. <laughs> uh, we're gonna back up a little here. And we're gonna heal up with you. With a nice mend. And does anyone have a door key? No. No, we don't. Storch does. So, we'll go ahead and do one of these. Da -da -da. One, two, three, four, five. So then we're gonna go like this. Open the door, Kanto off. We're gonna go for the brother sword. And it's not quite gonna kill, but what you didn't know is we've got this spear. And <clears throat> Larissa goes for the chip damage just like that. And then we're all good. And no longbows to my wyvern's face, you know? Easy as pie. Da -da 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 and that's all she wrote. And we have barrier staffs, don't forget that, idiot. Oh, right in the face. Okay, again, I will ask Do we early promote Ooh. Do, do we early promote? Secondary question. Will our seals uh, go away after part one? And I'm guessing part one is over soon. Da -da 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 -da. Very good, very good. Got some damage on him. Not much, but it'll do. Elfire is scary. Always scary, that Elfire. Big damage, big fire, big, big nonsense. All right. Okay. Sure. Now we'll take no damage, right? Yeah, yeah. No damage, dink. And we're doubling. Huge! This is huge! Oh, thieves are coming in. Means we gotta get moving. So, we got three turns to fight them back. Should probably be enough. Miasma. Who can we pull this guy with? A good sword? Uh, almost a storch? We can double shove him. That would be nice. How does this work? Oh, or we can reposition him. That's that's good too. Ba -ba -da 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 -da. And then she'll go get the okay restore. That's nice. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. We're gonna die, th die thunder. We need them. We need them done for. Okay, like so. Da -da 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 -da. 
We're gonna put her here just in case. If they go for her, that's fine too. Iron Blade, Short Spear, We've got two calves here. Probably do want someone coming up this way. We'll throw him down, bait up a calf, and then of course we'll have Arkady come through, take out this calf. And we could probably have uh, Vigalus rush up on his own, honestly, even though he's an archer. Uh, okay, okay. He'll steal bow. How much does that do? 27. Yeah, he'll be fine. If we heal up, uh, Vigilis. Skill. Fiery blood. Okay. That could be useful. Might as well. Actually, it's not that useful. <laughs> dun, 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 I think that's good. Maybe not good, but it's acceptable. And then when these calves charge, we can ride ahead and take out the uh, one guy, you know? You know what I'm saying? We do have rescue, don't forget that. Ba, 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 ba. I think we just stick right here. And we see what's next. Do we get doubled? We, we do get doubled. Oh my god, that's scary. Why does Storch have such low speed? To be fair, he's getting weighed down by that sword, I think. Actually, is he? I don't think he is. It's the Iron Blade he gets weighed down by. Either way. Oh, that's not good. And we get hit by it, of course. The other cab gonna rush? Nope. This is fine. We're gonna speed through a little bit because we dodge. And then another one for Larissa. Yeah. Miasma. That's an animation for you. Dark magic is kind of annoying. <laughs> and she crits. All right. Uh, Should have just thrown her at the mages, which is pretty ironic. I mean, even though. The other guy's a uh, armor knight too. Wow, so much defense, it's crazy. Do you think that when she promotes, she gets six move or stays five? As a general. I'm curious. Okay, okay, things are getting hairy. Things are getting hairy. Who's uh, down here? We've got sword mercenaries. And Axe Fighter. Okay, so we gotta get rid of this guy. How do we do it? Oh, actually, he's a uh, pretty tough. Mm-hmm. Yes, indeed. And we don't double, which is it's actually kind of an issue here. Nobody doubles him. Wow. 12 speed is defeating me right now. Da, da, da. And this guy, gal, 17 speed is definitely defeating me. So this is probably the best bet. Okay, yep. <clears throat> Father's love is OP. Father's love is OP. Dun, dun, dun. Bolting actually could come in big handy here. Uh, if we can catch up to her. And that hits. Could, do, could be a nice little one shot. But we still have time. We actually might want to bolting... 
that dude if we can. What is it? Uh, 3 to 10. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Right there is going to be okay. Oh, too far. Da, da, da. That'll be huge if this hits. All right. <clears throat> Titus, Ty the armor, mad, the magic armor, mage armor has bolting. That's that's hilarious. Is it not hilarious? Like, <laughs> hello. <laughs> Oh boy. All right. Start with Arkady. Thank goodness. Can we do nine damage? Let's do it. Let's get him out of the way. Natsuko with the KO. And the level up. And the Lance Reaver. Level 11. Oh my res, dude. Mage killer, mage killer, mage killer alert. No, 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 no strength, but like lots of res. Okay. Uh, longbow for sure. Let's go for it. Nice. Should be able to take him out. No problem then. Uh, this guy though, it might be a little scary. In fact, steel sword. Steel Sword and a Nosferatu could be enough to uh, take down Arkady. It's 18. It's 11 damage there. 20 minus 9 is 11. Is that two 11s? Plus Weapon Triangle will kill. So let's do this. And... Get Esther out of the way. Oh, Sword Reaver. Jesus. And a Sword Reaver on top of that. This is actually not so good. Nosferatu. 18. Her res is bad. 14. Um, so if I take a 20 minus 4, that's a 16. I thought it was 14. Oh, well. Yeah, that's not good. That's really not good. But we have Suri here, actually, who might be able to take him out. He can't take him out. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Hmm. Could. We could. We could. We could warp him away. We could warp him away. That way we won't get sword reaved. One, two, three, four, five. We could warp him literally to, literally to, like, right here. I think he'd be safe. Except for the bolting, actually. And if the thief attacks him, it'd do, like, 5 damage. 5 and 11 and 11 would kill. Or we could warp him right here, and that's actually probably better. Alright. No, 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 no. Let's warp him. Oh. Range is bad. <laughs> ah, man. <clears throat> okay, well, we'll, we'll warp him right here then. Yay. And did we consider uh, dying? Not, that's not what I meant. <laughs> we determined that we would die if... Yeah, I think we did. Okay, so... S Sphere is going to stay put as well. 
She might actually need to dip out a little bit, like so. Um, okay, so over here, Storch is low. We have Ruslan. Dude, this is a sword. And that's a sword, obviously. I think we're okay to stand here. And we will heal up like that. This mage might be problematic. Or not. We have the Moonraiser. And we crit. That's crazy. That's crazy town. And we get a first Helga level up. I'm uh, predicting it's going to be great. I mean, that's pretty good. I'll take that. Okay, so uh, Sri could go for this killer bow right here. And there we go. Perfect. So the real question is, though, did we screw up? And we're in bolting range. And steel sword range. So that's... <laughs> that's 20. 13 minus... So we're at 19... And that's exactly a kill, so we're, uh... Wait, what does Swap do? Oh wait, we're one shot, so we need to get out. We're gonna go this way. <laughs> Myrmidon should be fine. Mercenary, I mean. Main Gosh, I'm not sure what that means. But it's cool, she's got a preferred weapon. Or, you know, a thief weapon. I don't know. Do 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 do. Very, very good, Vigalus. <clears throat> if we can promote Vigalus and freaking oh gosh, that's not that bad. Vigalus and Arcady? That'd be nuts. Nuts! Um, they're both gonna be or no, one's a warrior, one's a hero, I think. So that'd be pretty cool. All right, let's skip that. He's still got pure water gains, I think, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and Storch is healing. Elga's healing. Titus is healing. That's pretty cool. Who's healing? Whose skill is that? Is it? Oh, it's Dewey. I forgot. That's nice. Do do. I wonder if you get more ruby weapons in the game. I'm sure you do. I don't really want to waste them, though. Da, 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 da. Oh, yeah. We actually have to get through. Kind of forgot. So we're going to do... We're going to do the ruby sword. Oh, wait. No, it's if this If this hits, this is going to be unfortunate. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Good job, Esfir. Da, da. Da, bum, ba, ba. So who's gonna take out this cab? It's probably gotta be Vigilus. Yep, I think so. Don't know the Arcady could do that with the axe. It also means that Natsuko is on thief duty. Da, 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 da. What might have been smart to let them get the chest. Actually, but then you really have to uh, be on top of it because the stairs looks like it's uh, right there in the same building. Defense, such a freaking tanky healer, man. Oh, that's actually bad. Even S sphere out there like that. Good chip. Be easy and easy KO. Should we give it to her? Nope. What are we gonna use? Oh! This guy's got an axe reaver. If we hit by bolting though, we're screwed. Bum 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 bum. 
Ruslan doesn't want to be hit by bolting. Not at all. Not at all. Please don't. Ruslan's got a red armor pallet. What's his level like? Anything good? Okay. Speed. Speed is good. Is it worth using dire whatever? Probably not. Nice. I'll take that, actually. Probably worth using Helga here to get him out of there. We really need to get rid of some of these guys over here. I don't know if that I want to use up bolting quite yet. Oh, hi. Never thought I'd see this animation in my life. I thought it was weird when freaking a paladin was doing it. This is just, this is just crazy. Oh my gosh. Not only is Vigalis the freaking run MVP being an archer, but he's also like the dodge tank MVP. Oh God, this is bad. This is actually really bad. This is very, very bad. Okay, very, very bad. Uh, very, very bad. Okay, well, this doesn't matter, I guess, but... Oh, she's missing. She's missing. That bolting. Is, she, is he out of boltings? You think he's out of boltings? Is he out of boltings? Ah. Okay, okay. He's not out of boltings. He's not out of boltings. He's not out of boltings. No. <laughs> All right, so actually we were able to... We were actually able to turn wheel back this far. I'm actually kind of surprised. Uh, okay, so we're not going to do that this time. I want Esphere to be combat ready, but this wasn't it. Just was not it. Okay. So we're going to go like this. These tiles stick out, and I'm curious why. Why do they stick out like that? I'm gonna put her on the fort here. And we are gonna heal up here. Uh, more defense, or was that the same level? I'm not sure. Okay. And over here, same deal, right? Okay. Nope, oh, except that was a misclick. You moron. Okay. Um, <clears throat> that was a. Not as good level, I think. I don't know why I rewinded, honestly. Probably because I was mad. But now we're probably going to hit it. And I'm sorry. I didn't really need to do that. But <clears throat> it is what it is, I suppose. That's a big... That's a lot of experience for a thief. And uh, worse level up. I would, I would consider that worse without... Uh, about the the, the 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 speed, you know. Okay. I'll fast forward through some of this. Mostly, seen it all happen before. I.e., uh, what's her name getting killed? All right. So we're fine. We're 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 barely scraping by, but we're fine. Oh, forgot. Right, you're a freaking. Oh my! Hi. Hi there. Do, 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 do. We do need to rush. We need to get on with it. Uh, it'd be really nice if we could actually... If we could warp Scree forward to take him out, that would be big. Get rid of the freaking bolting guy. I think we're going to go for that, actually. And then hopefully we could, oh, so close, so close, but we can probably do this. Yeah. This is the first crit we've seen. Oh wait, no, we've seen that. I think that is pretty sick though. That is pretty sick though. Level 12, Storch, Storch is finally coming through for us. Oh my gosh, 
he went from being like you know bad to to now good that was good did a really good job storchy boy all right now we are uh, much more comfortable all of a sudden all of a sudden we're much more comfortable everything is easier <laughs> Oh my god, uh, some speed would be helpful. Not a lot, we just need a little bit. Not asking for much here. It's kind of weird to have a, a mage knight. Literal mage armor. Sorry, not mage knight. Accompanied by a wyvern. Doesn't make as a whole lot of sense, but hey, it works, I guess. She can literally run circles around him, ferry him all over the place, assuming she can actually carry him, which she can. So that's pretty cool, but, you know. Okay, so... Need to heal. That would be good. <clears throat> Might be better to attack her because of a we know can one round this guy like so. Natsuko can come in with the uh, KO here. Very, very nice. Very, very nice, indeed. And I think we... <laughs> do we do we bank on it? No, we don't, we don't, we don't. I don't think I'm going to use a vulnerary, though. With the pillar, it should be like a 7% chance. Or 9. So, you know, obviously, we're good. Da -da 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 -da. Got wyverns coming through. We are approaching the throne room. Missing. We're missing. Da -da -da -da. Very good. Very good. And can can we take him down? Oh, just so so close. So very close. Can we shove? We can. Now can we? Oh my god, we can. Let's get these chests. Worm Slayer. Nice. I forgot to use the chest key. That's all right. Was I gonna steal something off someone? I forgot. I totally forgot. I'd say we go in for the kill, man. <clears throat> That's a pretty cool general sprite, though. Much like a captain in their ship. If this fort goes down, so do I. I don't know why everyone's Scottish in this game, but that's just what my brain does, okay? Leave me alone. Do... All right, here it goes. Very good, miss. Ah! I, uh... Considered if he misses, we're gonna be screwed. We did have rescue though, and uh, yeah, that's eh, funny. It works out though, it works out though. Heal up. 
Boo -doo 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 -doo. Garrison. Oh, is he? He's gonna go after Natsuko. Actually, maybe not. I think he's only got a short uh, spear. Or no. Yeah, he might actually go for Natsuko then. If he can one shot, that's very sad. I didn't even check. But I don't think he can, right? Oh, very good missing. Missings. Misses. He gets a level up for dodging! Those are the best kind of level. <clears throat> scary. Very scary. B rank. We got Wyvern Lords. Wyvern Lord. Wyvern Lords coming in. Oh my god, and they have Tantify. Tantiva, Tantivy, 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 Tan. I don't. Oh, he's got a double deck. Oh no. Oh dear. Oh boy. Might as well get some, uh. Get a little bit of EXP, shall we? Ooh. Ooh, we need that steel sword again. Steel axe again. <laughs> Let's make sure we can actually kill this guy. Very good. 18 years. 18 damn years. Guess everything must come to an end. Alright, Storch. Don't fail us. Don't fail us this time. He failed us. He failed us big time. That was a big fat fail. That was a big fat fail time. Alright. I don't know what else to say. Oh, God. Okay. Wait a minute. We got... <laughs> I wasn't supposed to do that. I was supposed to seize. That's all right. We're not in a lot of danger here. We're not in a lot of danger here. In fact, we're setting up kills, man. We are chilling. We are chilling. So chill. Uh. Yeah, yeah. Just like that. Oh my God! You got speed. She really needs strength, though. We could just sit here and farm, I guess, but... I don't know. Oh, so close. So close. So close. So freaking close. Why? 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 Means uh, we're in danger here. Arca D, Arca D. We hand axe that. All right. Okay. Do we want to stick around actually and uh, fight these guys? Is it worth? Is it worth? Might be worth. Oh. Arcady. Wait a minute, wait a minute, back it up, back it up, we gotta... Wait a minute, wait a minute, that looks so weird. Oh my god. <laughs> that looks so weird, but I love that create animation for the sage, but okay. <clears throat> I'll take it, I'll take it. It just looks so funny. Oh man. Alright, they're just stacking up down the middle. 
fine with me, I guess. Do 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 do. Might as well give this a shot, yeah? The Wyvern Slayer. The Worm Slayer, as they call it. Oh, we might as well give this chick a kill, yeah? Why not? Probably should be using Titus, but I don't know. A mage armor. A mage armor. If his magic is higher, like, if his speed is going to be low... Don't you think his magic should be higher? I don't know, his base stat is pretty good, but still... I'm not sure. Not sure at all. Hey, who's that support? Oh, it's Dewey, of course. Three, there you are. You look so sullen. Something eating you? Oh, hey, Dewey. Me? Sullen? Not at all, sister. Come on, Sri. I'm being serious. Tell me what's wrong. I've just been doing some thinking. Thinking about our place in the world. Thinking about mom and dad. Both gone, brother. We're gone, too. Unfortunately, thing of, thing, things have changed. I can't believe you'd be so callous about it. Didn't expect that from you, sister. Callous. L listen to yourself, Sri. You're clearly unwell. I miss our parents, too, but I cannot let it stop me from living. I can't spend all of my life looking down the end of a dang bottle. Dang it, Dewey. You always like to go right where it hurts. Uh, yeah. Alright, send it. Oh, it hits? That's fine. We, we do one-shots around here. Big time one-shots. Thinking, I'm thinking we go for this. Oh, we don't one shot though. That's okay. I'm thinking we go for this. Like so. Devil Axe is scary. How much does he do? Seven times two. We can we can deal. We can deal with that, I think. They call it the good old fashioned wheel and deal. I don't know. Do they do they call it that do they call it that? Do they call it anything that? What am I talking about? I'm just saying words, man. I just I don't know. We need a new iron axe, I guess. Oh he crits! God, that's a nice crit. And uh, some fat XP. 14. Yes, there it is. There it is. And then... Hand bow. A fat level. 15. Oh! Oh no. Oh, that's right. We get skills level 15. Don't let me early promote. Fiery blood. Okay, okay, that's nice. And maybe, maybe a little bit of this. Oh, wait. What's up? Where, where's all that crit coming from? Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> it's wrath. I forgot. All right. Uh, okay. <clears throat> all right then. Uh, dun, da, da, dun, da, da, da. 
And then we staff. We staff. I don't have any heals, so I'm wasting my mend. Just like that. And I think we rescue. Oops. Oops. <laughs> Oopsie daisies. Um, maybe like that. And then maybe like this. And then, oops, oops, oops. <laughs> um, um, I don't think that's very helpful, was it? Yeah, that was that wasn't very helpful. All right. Well, there we go. And then uh, a little bit more healing. And then, oops. <laughs> Anybody need supports? Anybody need supports? Anyone at all? Lara, Lara's dead to us, Marlin. Lara sucks. All right. We've claimed the fort. A victory is in our hands. Storch, do you know what this means? Not exactly, but. I presume it's a good thing for us. We have a clean shot at Grodden now. Precisely, but we must move soon. We don't have the numbers to hold out here for too long. And getting surrounded by Grodden's forces would be our undoing. Right, right. Let's prepare for an assault on Castle Bellaro. Already? I mean, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Indeed. Everyone get a quick rest. We march tomorrow for Castle Bellaro. Or Titus. Ah, yes, Helga, what is it? I've taken a look, look around, and I found the fort's coffers. The sum of gold should help us stock up for the coming battles. I'll leave it with you. Money. Most excellent. Thank you, Helga. I will use it wisely. All right. Perfect. Storch, you really should get some rest. Vagalus is here to relieve your watch duty. All right. Sorry. Storch, are you all right? You don't seem to be yourself lately. You're acting weird. There's a lot to process, you know? Lord Titus joining up with us, taking on Lord Grodden to liberate Bellaro. The spat with my dad? There's a lot to think about. Titus seems decent enough, but I don't like this... I don't like doing this sort of thing. I only like fighting if I need to. I'm not into this whole going on the offensive. It's not why we got together. I mean, I know we said we kind of needed to do this, but that doesn't mean I'm all feeling good about it. It's eating away at me like a caterpillar on a leaf. Sometimes you need to strike your strike before your foe can see you. Gavis is right. Although this has gotten much larger, larger than any of us could have bargained for. We're all quite wary about this. Yeah, I'm not sure if I should be so trusting. He has no army to call his own, only a small force of loyal soldiers. and wants to use us to claim the throne. Who's to say he will better? He will be better than Grodd and that rule it? Will he care for the people? I don't really know much of his ideals. He is a noble. He is not used to people like us. We are all from the country... We simply exist to subsidize their lifestyles. Yeah, it's all a bit fishy to me. Do you know him at all, Esphere? Know him, personally? No, not at all. What I do know from at least... What, I've, what I do know from what I've heard, at least, is that he shares his father's strategic mind and his uncle's willpower. Does Grodden not have any children of his own? No, he had a wife who died years ago. Before they could produce a child, she passed away due to illness. Some say that Lord Grodden, Grodden has a few bastard children skulking about, but none that are known. Titus too lacks an heir, but he is still youthful enough to produce one. Would there be any way for a child to make, for such a child to make a claim? I doubt it. There's nothing mythic about any noble bloodline. They're simply just they're simply the ancestors of, of the folks who set this all up. So anyone could come up with a claim as his child. Nobility is stupid. It would not surprise me to to see someone make such a claim. Lusting for power is a weakness all humans have. We are hierar hierarchical, hierarchical creatures. Indeed, Storch, you should really get some rest. Right, right, I'll try to get some shut eye. Be safe, don't worry about me. We'll need you at your best tomorrow. Right, thanks Vigilis. Good night. Ah, uh, there's something fishy going on here for sure. Is she the bastard child? Hmm. Is he Lara's father? Huh. Esphere, is there someone on watch? Well met, Lord Titus. Yes, Vigilus is keeping, wa keeping watch. What are you doing awake at this hour? 
I've struggled to sleep more than a few hours at, at a time for years now. There's much to think about, and my mind does not seem to be able to rest, tireless, in multiple senses. I see. Tell me, Esphere, your daughter Lara, how did she come to use magic? I met a sage seeking an apprentice who thought she had great potential. Lara studied with him for years in Balti before we left for Bellaro. Hmm, I see. She is quite talented. I'm sure you and her father are proud. Yes, I am proud of my daughter. She's handled herself well in our struggles, both on and off the battlefield. I only hope that this will all end soon. As do I, Esphere. As do I. Well, it has been most pleasurable chatting with you. I must retire for the evening. Not a problem at all, Esphere. Please get a good rest. You too. Esphere. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Huh. Huh. Hmm. Huh. They're related, right? Are they related? Brother and sister? Half-brother? Bastard child? She's the bastard child? They're cousins? Who knows? <laughs> Don't tell me this is blind, okay? Don't tell me. All right. <clears throat> it's been pretty good. It's a long chapter, but we made it even longer, and uh, this is actually, you know, I think I, think I said this the last time or two. Things are getting a little more challenging. Uh, gotta, gotta keep my eyes open, you know? Uh, but yeah. It's been a good one. Uh, let me know about the... about the uh, Using the Earth Seals before the... In, in this next chapter. I have a feeling after this we're going to move to part two and uh, things will be different. So, yeah. As long as we hit level 15, I think that's a good place to promote, right? So, all right. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.